in this in this session we will be learning about future value and present value of a single cash flow okay as we had seen in the time value of money the worth of money doesn't remain constant right so whatever is the worth of money worth of say rupees 1000 today okay is different from worth of rupees 1000 after one year okay and in the inflating economy the worth of money goes on decreasing okay right so well, let's understand how to calculate a future value or present value of a single cash flow single cash flow means the amount at a particular point of time okay now what we do is to calculate future value or present value we either discount it or compound it at a particular interest rate okay so that interest rate is whatever interest rate is in the market okay so in that that interest rate we either compound or we either discount the cash flow to find out the future value and present value for example say if interest rate is 10% okay so 1000 rupees today what today what will be the value of 1000 rupees after one year okay if we want to find out that how do we do it 10% is for 100 right 10% means 10 by 100 so today's 100 rupees okay will be 110 rupees after one year at the rate of 10% correct so today's 1000 rupees will be how much that is how we calculate right so 1000 into 110 upon 100 so that comes to how much 1000 100 so this is future value of rupees 1000 today correct that is how we calculate the future value now let's understand the present value what is a present value okay so present value means value of some future cash flow okay we have to find out value what is the value of the future cash flow as on today okay so say we are taken the same example 1000 rupees after one year okay if we are receiving 1000 rupees after one year what is the present value of that 1000 rupees so at the same interest rate 100 rupee will become 110 after one year okay so 1000 rupees after one year will be how much so again i have to cross multiply 1000 into 100 divided by 110 so that is how we find out the present value so that comes to 909 rupees okay so 909 rupees today will be 1000 after one year okay now you can cross verify this 909 into 10% okay so how much is that 90.9 correct so after one year the value of 909 will be 909 plus 90.9 correct that is 91 so that is nothing but 1000 that is how you can cross verify this so now let's see what is a formula for finding out future value and a present value of a single cash flow now let's understand what is a formula for calculating a future value and a present value okay first we'll see future value future value is equal to pv into 1 plus r the whole raised to n okay so future va fv stands for future value pv stands for present value 
then r stands for rate of interest per annum this is important per annum means for the year n stands for number of years for which compounding is done okay this is how we calculate the future value okay now let's see one example for calculating a future value okay so mr a he makes the deposit of rupees 5000 in a bank okay and that bank pays the interest at the rate of 10 percent per annum okay and then the interest is compounded for six years okay that is the money is kept for six years okay we are required to find out the amount receivable at the end of the sixth year okay so let's see the formula future value is equal to present value into 1 plus r the whole raised to n present value is equal to 5000 rate of interest is 10 percent per annum percent means 10 divided by 100 so you take a rate of interest in decimal so 0 0.10 n is equal to 6 years correct so the formula will be 5000 into 1 plus 0 0.10 the whole raised to 6 so this comes to 5000 into 1.1 the whole raised to 6 now if you solve this the the answer will be 8857 okay so this is how you calculate the future value using the formula okay now we will see what how do we remember this logically how to calculate a future value of the particular amount okay without remembering the formula okay let's try to understand the logic behind it okay the amount has been kept at the interest rate of 10 percent per annum for six years okay so it's always better to compare it with first year now what will happen is first year whenever you keep rupees 100 at the rate of 10 percent you will get the interest rate interest of 10 and your amount will be 110 after one year okay so future value of rupees 100 after one year will be 110 so 110 by 100 okay 110 by 100 that will be the future value after one year now we need to find out future value of that particular single cash flow after six years so at the end of the second year the future value will be 110 upon 100 into 110 upon 100 third year it will be 110 upon 100 into 110 upon 100 into 110 upon 100 and so on and so forth for all the six years okay this is nothing but 110 upon 100 the whole raised to 6 that is 1.1 the whole raised to 6 okay so if you calculate this you will get a factor wherein you can find out what is the future value of rupee 1 okay if it is kept for 6 years at the interest rate of 10 percent compounded annually okay since 110 by 100 you will cancel this 0 and then the amount will be 1.1 by 1 okay so you will get a future value of rupee 1 correct so once you get this annuity factor what you can do is so this comes to 1.7715 okay so this is 
the future value of 1 rupee which is invested at 10 percent per annum compounded annually after 6 years okay so this is for, for rupee 1 so how much will be the value of 5000 so 5000 into 1.7715 now if you calculate this it comes to 8857 this is how you calculate the future value logically without using the formula now if you have calculator okay this 1.1 the whole raised to 6 how do you do it is on the calculator you put the number 1.1 okay then you have to type multiply twice and then equal to okay so for first equal to what you will get is value at the end of second okay then second time equal to then value at the end of third year fourth year fifth year so you have to press equal to for five times this so if you follow the steps of the on the calculator you will get this 1.7715 which is a future value of rupee 1 at the end of six years at 10 percent per annum okay now since this is for rupee 1 what will be the future value for rupees 5000 so 5000 into 1.1715 1 1 that will give you 8857 so this is the way you calculate the future value and then you need not remember the formula also okay now let's see how to calculate the present value of a single cash flow okay now let us understand how to calculate a present value of a future cash flow okay first we'll see the formula present value is equal to future value into 1 upon 1 plus r the whole raised to n wherein pv stands for present value fv is your future value r is rate of interest n is number of years for which the compounding is done okay now let's see one example okay so find out the present value for of rupees 2000 received after 10 years okay if the discount rate is 8 percent discount rate means interest rate okay so we have to find out the present value okay future value is given 2000 after 10 years so n is equal to 10 years and interest rate is 8 percent per annum okay now if we put this in the formula we get 2000 into 1 upon 1 plus r that is 1 plus 8 by 100 okay the whole raised to 10 that is 2000 into 1 divided by 1.08 the whole raised to 10 okay now if we calculate this okay we will get 2000 into 0.463 that comes to 926 using the formula now let's see how to calculate a present value without using the formula okay let's see it here now when we can have to calculate a present value okay what we should do is first we'll know what is the rate of interest rate of interest is eight percent per annum now present value will always be lower than your future value so let's assume if we have rupees 100 and we invest it for one year at eight percent per annum we will be getting 108 rupees at the end of one year so few, when future value is 108 rupees your present value is rupees 100 okay so 
using this method what we do is we try to calculate the present value for whatever amount is given so for 108 rupee after one year your present value is 100 rupees okay so what we will do is let's try and calculate what is a factor so 100 divided by 108 okay okay that will give you the present value of rupee 1 at the end of the year that means for earning rupee 1 at the end of the year how much amount you need to invest okay that is what is meant by present value of rupee 1 at the end of the one year that is what you will get by using this formula now since we have to calculate the present value of 2000 rupees which will be received after 10 years okay what we will do is we will multiply this again by 100 divided by 108 okay now this will give you the present value okay of rupee 1 which is at the end of the two year okay so what it will give you is it will give you some present value okay if you invest it for two years it will become rupee 1 okay but we need it for 10 years so what we need to do is we need to multiply it by 100 divided by 110 and so on for 10 years okay if you do this what you get is 100 divided by 108 the whole raise to 10 okay now if you do this what you get is the present value of rupee 1 after 10 years okay that is if you invest rupees 0 0.463 at the interest rate of 8% which is compounded annually uh, what will happen is your earnings at the end of the 10 years will be 1 rupee okay so future value is 1 at the end of the 10 years for rupees 0 0.463 okay so now you can do a comparative analysis future value and present value future value 1 rupee at the end of 10 years for present value of 0 0.463 so for 2000 rupees how much so 2000 into 4 0 0.463 will give you 926 now if you see this this is similar to whatever has been calculated using the formula okay but instead of calculating it you uh, and remembering the formula what you can do is you can try this logical method of calculating a future value and present value of a single cash flow so how do you calculate it on your calculator is you press into 100, 100 divided by 108 and then press multiplication sign twice and then equal to equal to equal to 9 times okay so once you press this 9 times you will get this value of 0 0.463 this is how you calculate it on your calculator thank you